In Dragon Quest XI, farming isn't really required, unless you're playing on hard mode, that is, until you get to Act 3. If you want to beat the Act 3 boss, as in the post-game final boss, then you're going to need to do a little bit of grinding. And I don't want to waste time doing that, do you? So here's an easier way to do it that is pretty much like the agreed upon best solution for grinding in Dragon Quest XI. Let me run it down for you. Now, the main goal of this is to farm metal slimes. Now, metal slimes in this game, if you've played any of the Dragon Quest games, you know, are completely random when they appear. But in this one, there's a surefire way to summon them. You have to use pep powers. That's what this whole thing is revolves around, is using a bunch of different pep powers in a combination so you get mad experience gains. Now, the important thing is that you need to be able to use all these pep powers, and you need to be able to restore it. So, I'm going to buy this pep pop. This is the first thing I kind of need. Now, this item you get from Cobblestone after you restore it in Act 3. All of this is related to Act 3. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. You, you can't do most of this stuff until you get to Act 3. Now, here's the thing. Pull this off. You need to go and fight any random enemy anywhere. Do it somewhere close to a save point. Your main goal right now is to build up pep. You need to get everybody pepped up. Now, not necessarily absolutely everybody, but you need your main character, your hero. You need Eric, you need Jade, you need Silvando, and you need Rab pepped up, at the very least. It's not a bad idea to get everybody pepped up, but at least them, you need it. Now, you need an item I just showed me buying called the Pep Pop. You need that item because you need to use Jade's pep power twice. You also need to use your hero's pep power twice, but with him, he gets a special ability called Pep Up, so you want that. Let me run down all the abilities that you need to be able to pull off this trick. It's Hallelujah. That's a pep power. It requires your hero, Eric, and Jade to have pep. You need a pep pop or a pep pip. You can buy those at Derek's shop in Cobblestone, the pep pops. You can also get pep pips from a bunch of different places in the game. You can do the crossbow challenges. Uh, you get them from doing the horseback races. A whole bunch of stuff. You need Electrolyte. This is a pep power. This is, requires the hero, Silvando, and Jade. This is what summons the Metal Slimes. You need Dirge of Dundrasil. You don't necessarily need this, but it's very helpful. It just requires Rab, and it puts enemies to sleep, including Metal Slimes. And then getting uh, Eric's Critical Claim ability is also insanely useful. Now, at this point, if you have all those abilities, you know, barring one or two, the main ones you really want are Hallelujah and Electrolyte. At that point, just start grinding for Pep, and then you should be good. So... Let's do it. First, cast Hallelujah. Any random encounter, doesn't matter. We need to cast Hallelujah first because we don't want to do it after the Metal Slimes are summoned because we don't want them to just run away. That's the main danger of this, is going through all this trouble and then just having the Metal Slimes run away. Another danger is that the Electrolyte ability sometimes doesn't work. It usually works, but sometimes it doesn't. Hallelujah always works. This multiplies the experience you earn at the end of battle, and it gives you whatever rewards the enemies would have given you at the end, too. Now, here's the thing, is that we need to get Jade pepped up again. There we go. Now, the reason I switched to Rab is so he can immediately use the uh, sleep spell when it switches to over to him after we cast the Metal Slime. Because we want to put them all to sleep, and that'll make this as easy as possible. It's like if they're all asleep, then we can do what we want with them. We don't have to worry about them running away, at least generally. All right, now let's do it. Now that uh, Jade is pepped up again, we're going to use Electrolyte. The annoying thing about this is, like I said, sometimes it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, just immediately quit and reload. It's not worth going through all this again. All right, because of our level, we got two Metal Slimes and one Liquid Metal Slime. Now, depending on your level, it changes what comes out. If it's uh, level 50 to 60, then you get three Metal Slimes. If it's level 60 to 70, you get two Metal Slimes and Liquid Slime. If it's level 70 plus, then it's a King Slime and two Liquid Metal Slimes. At that point, when you start fighting the King Slimes, then they always drop uh, Pep Pips. 
So you're pretty much always set from that point on. Before then, then you're gonna have to find the pet pips on your own or just buy a pet pop. Now these things, like I said, are insanely expensive, but they're worth it. It saves you a lot of time. Now to beat the final, final boss of the game, I'm not gonna say who it is, you do not need to do all this. Grinding, it helps. It probably is worth doing at least once or twice, but post level 60, mid 60s, you should be able to beat the final boss without much trouble. But here we go. Now I'm using critical claim with Eric. Because all of them are asleep, we can just defend. We don't need to do anything. Now, if you don't have that ability and you want to still keep trying to kill the enemies, or if they didn't all fall asleep and you want to hurry up and try to kill them, use anybody that has multiple hit attacks. Some characters like Henrik have an ability that instantly, that like always does damage to metal slimes. So use stuff like that if you're worried that you're not going to be able to kill them. For this one, we're lucky because they're all just staying asleep, so we can just kill them. So let's just everybody defend. Just have Eric do everything. Boom, done. Yeah, look at all that experience. You're doing this at uh, between level 50 and 60, that'll get you about five levels or so. Same with like, about level uh, 60 to 70, but 70 plus when you start dealing with the King Metal Slimes, then you are getting insane amounts of experience. You could jump up like eight levels in one turn. It's crazy. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that go. Yep, there it is. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.